Well, um, this is the uh, the little motorhome we just picked up. Uh, me and Corinne uh, went to Rugby. Uh, it is a bit untidy. It is literally as we just left it. Um, I'm just looking through various bits and bobs I've got to do to try and sort out a few little bits for it. Um, um, it's not in uh, too bad a condition. It's certainly uh, very dirty. Uh, it's certainly not the cleanest motorhome I've ever seen. Lots of little bits and pieces, but nothing I can't hopefully put right. Um, a little bit disappointed that <coughs> it seems to have changed the uh, covers. Sorry to change the um, upholstery because uh, there used to be two like chair lock effects here. Um, we have some various other bits and pieces, but we seem to have the two back pieces and the chairs. Um, the diaphragm, uh, I think what you call it, is still in reasonable condition, and there's some cushions up here, um, but uh, not enough to do a lot with. Shan't be keeping them, I don't think, because as you say, three cushions, not four. Um, I've got to find out where and what he's uh, put various bits and pieces here and there. Uh, a lot of work to do, tidy up. I do like these little gun slits, as I call them. Um, it must have been a bit of Velcro uh, cover across there, I don't know whether that's original or not. Still trying to work it out. Okay. Um, but there you have it. Um, seems in reasonable condition. Um, I've still got uh, tidying up to do and finding out where things are, um, but I did like um, I did like the fuse box. I took the fuse box and uh, had a look, and I love that. I love the split pin at the end. There's a fuse. That's a cracker. There is. <laughs> so um, little few things I've got to do, as you can probably imagine. But uh, nothing can be stopped between me and uh, between me and Corinne. So we're quite looking forward to getting it on the road. I've got it booked in for uh, timing belt to change because um, I haven't got any receipts to whether it's been done or not. And uh, a bit of a look around the van. And I've got a little bit of woodworking to do under the benches where it's just not quite uh, good enough. Apart from that, I'll take it on the outside. Cheers. That's uh, the bed made up. Um, uh, it, I'll just lie on it and it's okay. Um, Heavenly, I've got to, I think I've got to do a, a bit of re board repairs. Um, but I think it's just, as you say, uh, it's been in a few hands over the years. And as you say, people do di different things and of course it just gets a little bit tired and if people don't keep on top of things. And uh, there you go. Um, I'm still happy enough with it. It's just a question of just um, organising it, um, uh, whichever way we have the headboard, it etc. But I'll just set that up, and that's done all right. Anyway, cheers. Right, it's a uh, uh, Talbot uh, Talisman auto sleeper. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, been standing a little bit. Uh, dirty roof. Must have had a warning on of some sort, I can clean and tidy that up. Uh, um, generally speaking the back ain't too bad, it's an 88 as you can see. It's got a bit of a humpy tow bar on. I'll have a look at that. I've got to sort the keys out. Um, I reckon a good cut and polish. Uh, I think there's about one good tile on the back. And uh, Two ones at the front, but there you go. That's the motorhome. It certainly needs a bit of a TLC. Anyway, I'm going to dump this rubbish and make up a few lists. Cheers, all. I'll catch you all in a bit.